to the English called Virginia. The land here at the fall line was beautiful and plentiful, surrounding a highly organized Indian village. Captain Newport uh, planted a cross, uh, indicating his intention to return with the remaining English settlers and locate here. He ran, returned to Jamestown and found that they had already been attacked and a fort had been built. The rest as we say, is history. The first permanent English settlement in North America at Jamestown. A settlement that persevered and was built on three distinct cultures. Three distinct cultures that came together and built not just a new settlement, not just a new country, but a new world. It was an experiment in colonization that could not have succeeded without royal support and the leadership of a great warrior. By royal support, I refer, of course, to the great king Powhatan and his daughter Pocahontas. At almost any time during those early years, those original Virginians could have overrun these invading settlers, or during most any winter, they could have just let the English starve. The Powhatan thought that there was the potential for trade and other benefits for his people that warranted grudging acceptance of their presence. And so today, as we commence our commemoration of 400 years of heritage, it's fitting that we start at the beginning with a descendant of Powhatan's original Virginia. It's my distinct honor to present to you Stephen R. Atkins. He is the chief of the Chickahominy tribe, one of the eight surviving tribes of Virginia Indians to enable this country to be born and survive. It is, however, ironic and sad that today these tribes do not enjoy the federal recognition of most Native Americans. Chief Atkins, and other Virginian Native Americans, our original Virginians, are joining us uh, now. Chief Atkins, we welcome you and your colleagues. 